Hey man, I hope you're doing awesome today. So today, I want to talk to you about overcoming fear and not letting it control your life. And then after that, I'm going to do my uh, usual 100 push-ups, uh, rows, and squats. So, let's get right into this. Okay, overcoming fear. Overcoming fear is, it's difficult, but it's not complicated. It's difficult because it's so easy to let fear like get in the way of your life. It's so easy to let fear tell you what to do, tell you where to go, pretty much just take control of your life. And it's mainly because fear is all in the mind. I want you to understand that fear doesn't even truly exist until you make it exist. Fear doesn't even, again, it doesn't even exist until you make it exist, right? So who are we to let fear control us and tell us what to do and tell us where to go? Now look, I want, I want to <clears throat> make this very clear at first that even though I'm giving you this message, I got to be humble in myself and saying that there's times where fear has taken control of my life and still even does. Like the other day, I literally went to like an amusement park um, with some people and like I wouldn't even get on the rides, right? Like I, I would eat with them and I would, and I would like do like the little like games and stuff they had and like throw the dart at the balloon and stuff like that. But I wouldn't even get on the rides myself. I would just sit back in the corner and watch them go on the roller coasters like a like a little wimp, basically. And that's mainly because all my life I've been like terrified of roller coasters. Um, when I was like eight years old, I went to Disney, went on Space Mountain. And I think since then, um, I believe that's like what started my fear in roller coasters. But the point is, man, is that I'm 21. And I still haven't gotten on a ride to this day. So, though I'm giving you this message, though I'm giving you this lesson here, it's, I want you to be better than me. All right? I don't want you to do what I did. I don't want you to do what I still currently do. Now, look, one day, 100%, it's like part of like my life bucket list, is that I'm going to overcome like the fear of roller coasters. And that's, and all you have to do, all I have to do to overcome that fear, all you have to do to overcome any fear that you have, any fear at all, any fear is simply tell your brain to shut up and then go do that thing that you're afraid of. Remember what I said earlier, fear only exists in the mind. Fear doesn't even exist until you make it exist, until your mind makes it exist. That's the only time fear ever truly exists, is when you make it exist, when your mind keeps it alive, right? That's the only time. Other than that, fear don't even exist. So. Who are we to let fear control our lives? Who are you to let fear control your life? And look, there's been a lot of things that I've been afraid of throughout my life that I've pretty much overcome for the most part, right? But again, there's still that one thing there, and that is roller coasters for me. I don't know what that thing is for you. I don't know what those multiple things are for you. But the point is, is that you can overcome the fear of it so simply by just telling your brain to shut up and then go do that thing. We hear a lot of we hear a lot of different like techniques and ways to overcome fear. I've heard things like the five second rule: you got you got to count down for five and then go do that go do that thing that you're afraid of. I've heard breathing exercises and meditation and all this like kind of BS. Look, meditation is good for like your daily routine. It's not good for overcoming fear. Five second countdown not good at all because in those five seconds you can simply run away. All right, so I don't care what it is that you've heard. I don't care what goofy techniques that you've heard or what um, ways to overcome fear today is. Whether it's fear, anxiety, panic, you know how you overcome it? You tell your brain to shut up and you go do that thing that you're afraid of. And now, let me get into the more kind of interesting part. Now, this could also be just like a whole video and a whole lesson in itself, um, but anxiety and panic, right? Anxiety and panic are kind of more extreme versions of fear and they come with physical symptoms you might feel breathlessness you might you might feel like headaches you might feel nauseous dizzy you might feel like you're gonna vomit you might feel like you're gonna pass out your vision might start getting blurry there's all these like really really weird physical symptoms that come with anxiety and panic so let me explain this fear is just your mind telling you to back away from something because it could be dangerous or simply because like you just don't want to do it you're afraid of it right anxiety is a more extreme version of fear 
it's when you start feeling fear like for a kind of prolonged period of time it's when something triggers like fear in you again for roller coaster for for me that's roller coasters anytime i think or look at a roller coaster think about a roller coaster see a roller coaster the thought of getting on a roller coaster it makes me afraid like i get anxiety from it right and some people even have like day-to-day -day anxiety where they just kind of feel anxiety even though there's not really like a trigger maybe they might just like feel it and then panic is probably the most extreme version of anxiety it's when you could just be having like a normal day and then all of a sudden out of nowhere trigger or no trigger you could just feel all these physical symptoms of just pure intense fear it could come out of nowhere it can happen any day any time you don't even necessarily need, need a trigger i mean yes there are triggers that make it happen but you don't necessarily need a trigger need a trigger like panic attacks they can just happen nowhere out of anywhere anytime but when it comes to panic attacks that's simply just adrenaline burning itself off but you start feeling afraid right because like you start feeling all these weird physical symptoms you don't really know what the heck is going on inside your body you don't know what the heck is going on inside of you you might feel like these heart palpitations you feel like you're going to have a heart attack or throw up or pass out or die like it's really intense and crazy fear okay so when it comes to anxiety attacks and panic attacks that's a whole video lesson in itself that's that's a whole another talk in itself but the point is is that fear can come in many different versions and ways it can be fear, anxiety, panic. Um, if you want to know more about that stuff, I definitely suggest searching up videos. But just keep in mind that I will be doing videos in the future because I have gotten many panic attacks while driving um, or while in a car with someone. Um, but slowly, as time goes on, I'm managing to like overcome it. And I'm still in that journey of overcoming it. That's why I don't plan on making a full video. Like right now, I want to fully overcome it first. But I'm definitely doing better. Bottom line is fear, anxiety, panic. All you have to do to overcome any of it at all is go do what you're afraid of. Whatever you're afraid of doing, just go do it. Tell your brain to shut up, be quiet, don't even like think. Don't think, just do, just go and do it. For some people, it might be airplanes. I know for me, it's airplanes like big freaking fear of mine. I hate it. But if I need to go on a plane, I just got to tell my brain to shut up and I got to go on the plane. And you know what you do when you're feeling all that intense fear, all those physical symptoms? You let it be there and you continue living your day-to-day -day life. See, here's the trick about fear. Here's what's so tricky about fear, anxiety, and panic. A lot of us, we overthink it so, so much. We, we feel afraid. We don't like it because it feels uncomfortable. And especially physically, mentally, emotionally, it all feels so uncomfortable. But now because we're feeling uncomfortable and we don't like to feel uncomfortable as humans, we start to overthink it and figure out how to overcome it and how to get rid of fear forever because we don't like feeling uncomfortable. However, maybe the trick all along, not maybe, this is the trick all along, is to actually just feel uncomfortable, to sit through the discomfort and feel out the discomfort, to quit quit wanting to be so comfortable. Right, as humans, we want nothing but to feel comfortable, especially in today's world where we, where we can just sit in our beds, scroll through, scroll through our phones, and you know, eat whatever kind of junk food we want. It, it's just such an easy, we, we can almost live like the easiest way of life possible. And it feels so comfortable and so good. Yet the problem with that is, is that we become weak and we become, like, we, we just become so weak that the second we feel any kind of discomfort, we, like, our brains start overanalyzing it. And then we try to figure out every possible solution to overcome it because we, the last thing we want is to feel uncomfortable. And then we do everything that we can to avoid that discomfort. Yet that discomfort is what is going to grow us and make us stronger and better in the future. Yet because we're so used to living such comfortable, easy lives, we want nothing but to continue doing that because it's just so easy. So again, the second we feel discomfort, which is where discomfort from fear, anxiety, panic, it's so uncomfortable. It's so like mind-blowingly discomforting that the second that we start to feel it, we want to run away from it. We want to get out of it. We don't want to feel it anymore, which is why, which is why I won't go on a roller coaster. I will in the future, but which is why I have not gone on a roller coaster since I was like, what, seven eight I forgot what age I was but really young that's why I haven't gone on a roller coaster but I'm gonna tell you something man you can look up every trick in the book to overcome fear you can try every breathing technique every meditation exercise you can try every little technique like the five second countdown rule but you're never gonna overcome it if you don't actually just stop thinking and just go and do it and feel out the fear you want to overcome fear stop being afraid of fear you want to overcome it tell your brain to shut up don't think about it and just go do whatever it is that you're afraid of
If you're afraid to get on a roller coaster or an airplane or in a car, if you're afraid to go talk to that girl that you have a crush on, if you're afraid to, uh, I mean, anything, really, that's not, like, life-threateningly dangerous, I guess. <laughs> anything that you're afraid to do, yet you want to do it or you need to do it, then go and do it. You want to go talk to that crush of yours, but you're afraid? Tell your brain to shut up, quit thinking, and just do it. You want to get on that roller coaster with your friends, yet you're letting your brain tell you not to because you're afraid? Tell your brain to shut up and actually go do it. Yeah, this is me talking to myself too, not just you. You want to go on that vacation, but you're afraid to get on a plane? Tell your brain to shut up, don't think about it, and just get on that plane. And the second you feel that anxiety and fear and panic, don't run away. Sit through the discomfort. Sit through it. Let your heart, let your heart beat out of your chest. Let your breath, let, let yourself not be able to catch your breath. Let the dizziness and nausea be there. I don't care if you feel like you're going to have a heart attack or throw up or pass out or die. I don't care what you feel like. Just live through it. Let the fear run through you. And I'm going to tell you what. Just because you do this once, just because you get on that roller coaster once, or just because you get on that plane once, just because you go talk to your crush once, just because you get over whatever fear it is that you have one time doesn't mean that you're never going to be afraid again. I guarantee the next time you have another crush, you're still going to be afraid to go ask her out. I guarantee the next time that you've got to go on another plane, you're going to be afraid to get on it still. But you know what? The whole point here, the whole idea in this lesson is that it doesn't matter how afraid you are. It doesn't matter if you're so afraid to where you're having these heart palpitations and you feel like you can't breathe and you feel like you're going to pass out, throw up, and die. It doesn't matter if you're so afraid that all you want is just to run away. It doesn't matter how afraid you are. It doesn't matter how many times you're afraid. It doesn't matter if you're still afraid after 10 years of conquering the same fear that you've been conquering for the past 10 years. It doesn't matter if you've been getting on a roller coaster every time you want to get on one for the past 10 years, and yet after 10 years you're still afraid to get on one. It doesn't matter how afraid you are, how long you're afraid. It doesn't matter what kind of fear you're feeling, what you're feeling, how afraid you're feeling. None of that matters. What matters is that you actually turn off your brain, don't think about it, and just do it. Just go do what you're afraid of if it's something that you really want to do in life. That's the bottom line. That's how you let fear not control your life, is by turning off your brain, not letting the fear just be there. Just let the fear be there, but turn off your brain and go do it. And yes, you're still going to feel afraid. Yes, you're still going to have these physical symptoms and all these mental thoughts of run away, get out of it while you still can. You're going to have all these intrusive thoughts, physical symptoms. It's going to feel uncomfortable and scary, and you're going to want nothing but just, just to run away. But yet, you need to overcome your fear, whatever that may be. That's the bottom line. I don't care what your brain tells you. I don't care what you're feeling. You go and do whatever it is that you're afraid of, and you do it every single time, no matter how afraid you are, no matter how long you stay afraid, no matter what you're feeling or thinking. None of that matters. Right? The whole point of fear is it's your body telling you that you're in a dangerous situation and that it's preparing you to run or fight yet when it comes to talking to your crush bro that's not a truly dangerous situation when it comes to getting on a roller coaster that's not a truly dangerous situation all these things can be dangerous i mean even just leaving your house every day can be dangerous even just driving can be dangerous even just staying inside your house can be dangerous for like your own health every day that you wake up and live throughout your whole life can be dangerous sleeping can be dangerous if you sleep too much or too little everything that you do every day can be dangerous Right, So don't overthink the thought of danger. Right, When I tell you that your body is just preparing you for fight or flight, don't overthink that, oh my gosh, this thing might be dangerous and that's why I'm feeling anxiety. Right, Because everything can be dangerous. Everything that you do can be dangerous. It could be dangerous me standing out here. I could get bit by a mosquito with yellow fever and be in the hospital tomorrow. Right, Everything that you do can be dangerous. So the point is, is to not overthink your anxiety or fear or panic and just do what you need to do. That's what it comes down to. You want to stop letting fear control your life? Then stop letting it control your life. It's as simple as that. You don't need meditation exercises. You don't need breathing techniques. You don't need this five-second countdown. You don't need all these other things that you've heard. All you need to do is just go do whatever it is that you're afraid of and let the fear run through you, no matter how uncomfortable it may feel. And the more you practice it over time, it's going to take years. I can promise you that. It's going to take a long, long time. But the more that you practice doing it and the more that you actually do what you're afraid of, then the less, then the more the fear is just going to start to go away.
because eventually you're just going to get used to feeling it so much and you're going to stop be being afraid of being afraid kind of thing, right? So some of you may not understand what I'm trying to say. And that's okay. I just hope that one day that you do. But for those many of you that you do understand what I'm trying to say, whatever it is that you're afraid of, just go do it. And as for me, next this is this is a message to myself. Justin, next time that you're afraid to get on a ride or a roller coaster, tell your brain to be quiet, turn it off, and just go get on that roller coaster and feel out the fear. Because you know what? It's worked for you for every other thing that you've ever been afraid of. Every other thing that you've been afraid of, every time you've done it and you felt out the fear, you survived, you're still here today, you're still fine. So what's to stop you from getting on that roller coaster besides your own brain? That's a message to myself right there and anyone else who's afraid of roller coasters. Um, that's the bottom line. And you know what? If, you've, if anyone's ever watched The Karate Kid, you might remember Mr. Miyagi saying uh, to Daniel when he's like on the ground and he's like afraid to get back up. I think it's The Karate Kid 3, I believe. Um, he says, it's okay to lose to opponent, must not lose to fear. Because Daniel was like fighting this guy, uh, Mike, and he was afraid to get back up and fight him because this guy was like really intense and like just kind of like a <laughs> really intense dude, right? Kind of scary. Um, but Daniel was afraid to get back up. But that's when Mr. Miyagi came in and told him, like, to stay focused. And it's all right if he loses to his opponent, but he cannot lose to fear. He cannot let fear keep him down on the ground. He cannot let fear make him run away from the fights. He has to finish the fight whether he wins or loses. He has to finish it. No matter how afraid he is. Because it's all right to lose a fight to your opponent, but it's not all right to lose to fear. So anything that you're afraid to do, anything that you've ever let fear have been holding you back from in your life, remember, don't lose to fear. Fear only ever exists in your mind when it comes about. And no matter what you feel or how uncomfortable you may feel or how crazy it may feel, take my word from it. Take my word from this. Tell your brain to shut up, turn it off, and then go do whatever it is that you're afraid of. You're still going to feel fear. You're still going to feel these physical symptoms. You're still going to get these intrusive thoughts. You're going to want nothing but to run away. But in the end, if you just go go face your fear and let the fear run through you, it's, it's going to be fine in the end. And keep doing that every single day of your life. This lesson is not just for conquering one fear. This is for every day of your life. This is for your whole life right here. Anything that you're ever afraid to do. If you're afraid to get on that roller coaster, but yet you see your friends getting on and you want to get on, then go get on. There's nothing to be afraid of besides whatever you tell yourself there is. And if you tell yourself there's nothing to be afraid of, then yeah, you're still going to feel afraid. You're still going to feel anxiety and panic. You're still going to get intrusive thoughts. But you're going to realize that you can get on that roller coaster and get off safely. And you'll be just fine. Just like your friends. So, take this lesson and do something great with it or not. The choice is up to you. I'm leaving this choice up to you, Justin, I'm leaving it up to you to decide whether to get on that roller coaster or not, but realize that the longer you avoid it, the worse your fear is going to get. And so you might as well get on right now, right? So uh, that's, uh, that's all I got to say for today. So that being said, it's time to go work out. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light
the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light seemingly perfect harmony, until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. Like a phoenix 
before I go, don't forget what the Bible says 365 times. Do not be afraid. So, do not be afraid. And don't forget to work hard and have faith every day, no matter what. And always take care of yourself. Much love to you.